get to this point and you come upon the river that cuts through the city, uh, you see that the uh, path... Hey, Ashes of the Question is finally loaded. Nice. <laughs> you see that it kind of cuts through here, and you are in the infected part of the city now. As through the barricade, you're in the unsafe region. So. Joy. Hard. Go. Hello. Path. Follow the leader, the leader, the leader. Oh, uh, of course. Um. And who's the leader? Yeah. That's the wrong fucking color. Do you ever decide that yet? I need to actually put this on the map layer. What the hell? Do you think we're prepared for whatever we're going to go up against? As prepared as we were back there. My answer would be bois. Mm. Keep going, you keep going. Yeah. As you, sure as, you're okay, as, Nee? As you get to this point mm -hmm. here, Hmm. Well, be careful with that vial you got. It wasn't cheap, but it may help you. I know, I spent it. some of it. Hmm. Uh, you can kind of see the beach where you all woke up over here. Hmm. As huh. you, uh, yep, Deja vu, eh? Uh, as you're going, the trail finally sort of, uh, it cuts away from the river and down into, a uh, this here, into the region you know to be known as Scrawny Town. It's um, uh, and its name is very fitting. It is a very not the most pleasant looking place. Uh, the buildings are a bit more uh ramshackle and old looking. The further in you get, the smaller and denser the buildings get. That is the wrong fucking color again. God damn it. Uh, as you head down, shopping blue. Right. Uh. Tone knows his colors, people. Shut up. Trail goes that way for a bit. Nah. <laughs> Keep going. And right Reality here. Reality just shift out of place. And right there, right in front of a really tiny hovel on the corner, you see the blood trail disappear underneath the door. Hmm. Can I listen in at the door? Roll an awareness check. Dash. Roll 2d6 plus 4. 12. Uh, well, it is silent inside. Hmm. Oh, that's reassuring. Hmm. Is, are there any windows or cracks in the walls or anything we can use to peek in? There are, though they appear to have been long since, um, closed. <clears throat> Is there another way into this place, or is there only one door? There is the one door. Hmm. Well, there's only one thing to do in a situation like this. If there's only one... I can't hear anything. Is there a keyhole I can look in through? Uh, yes, there is. Alright, let's do that first. What do I see? Uh, roll another awareness check to try and get a good angle, because it's kind of a tight... Hmm. Um, eh, it's too tight a space. Can't really get a good look. Hmm. All right. So, I ask, what can one of you see? I can't see. Well, I Maybe know, rocket I... with that weird eye of yours. Hmm. What are you calling weird? Hmm. Weird he isn't did... useful. Can you please look? I guess. What he's trying to say is, no, 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 no. <laughs> may have some way to see in the dark better. <laughs> also. Hmm. My character's a she, remember? Uh, oh, yeah, sorry. That's what she means. <laughs> so is Rocket looking? I don't know, is she? I'm an awareness check. Yep. Is she still there? Probably. I don't know. Oh. Eh, right. Same as with me. Can't... Damn! Oh, can't get a good look. <laughs> Fates oh, against who, us. Who, who goes right. next? <laughs> Thanatos gets ah, screw it. I give it a shot. Ah, oh, damn it. Unless you so, want to go first. Just because I get a four out of the way, let me do it. <laughs> you know what? I just, I just, Thanatos gets a little impatient and goes to proceed to kick the door open. Can I stop him from doing that? You can try. 
in that case, it would, be, from... it would be an opposed force check. So 2d6, uh, forces, 3, so 2d6 plus 3. Alright, what's my force? Three. Hey! Damn it. <laughs> All right, Tom, it. you're ruining my fun. No offense, maybe it's best we don't kick down the door to let our position, just in case there is something nasty on the other side. I got him. Could anyone pick a lock or find well, a way to Well, before we do that, he goes to bloody um, yep, kick the door. That. I, just, I just oh. grab him, put him against the wall, just shake my head. No. no. Bad. Bad. Don't. <laughs> Nine. <laughs> well, do you have anything... Uh... Do you have anything else? How about we let the rest of you try and look in first? Yes, which I'm just about to do that now. Wish me luck. I suppose. <clears throat> we're all blind as fuck, and we're just gonna sit here at this door for the next half If hour. neither If neither you or Alice, Alice, Alicia can see anything, Alice, then I we kick the door down and keep everything inside. Nickname. Fine. <laughs> now roll. Yep, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. And it ebbed again. Bugger! <laughs> Try it again! Right. Right. Second time the charm. Plus four. Come on. Bugger. Yep. I knew fate was against me. Yep. Son of a bitch. Identical Damn results. you. Thanatos, now it's your turn. Now also, can I what? kick the door down? No! Look first. Look Look first. If you fail as well, then kick the bloody door down. Also, why is the screen shifted to the interior? Um, or is that the outside? The outside. You're just... You, uh. yeah. Everything this like aware. like this right here is the door. Right or Thanatos, you try and look in. If you cannot, kick the door down and we will go in together. I don't have results. I God cannot... damn it! He's I fuck this see door. Button. Kick it down. Ah, uh, uh, fuck it. I'll do it myself. I kick the door down. Make fuck a force it. check. No, fuck you. I want to kick the door. We do it together. Fuck this door. All right. <laughs> Either one of you two make your mind, or get freaking. All right. Both of you make. Fo okay. It. One of you make a force check and get a plus two because the other one is helping you. All right. Uh, I'm in the middle of doing it, so I got three, four, five. So that's plus five. Fourteen. We. Right. I think we do it. All right. So. Yeah, you see, you, well, we are kind of back, you bring your foot into the door, and it just kind of falls over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, mm -hmm. and inside, you... Uh, that square there is meant to be a chest, by the way, that red one with the olive color. I don't have very many shades of brown to go with here, so... Mm -hmm. so Who we'll wants to go in first? Well, I think since we're at the front, we should probably... We probably end up went through with it, didn't we? So we kicked mm -hmm. it down. Stepping inside, I just fell over. Stepping inside, you are greeted to a very sparsely decorated house. Very small. There is a bed in one corner with a chest at its foot. Uh, there's a fireplace in one corner. There are four windows kind of running the conference in front of the door and filling up some of the central space of the room. There is this uh, big, dirty, ugly yellow rug. Nothing else in here. Hmm. What? Can I check out the chest, but carefully, because I don't trust things in roleplay. Oh, <laughs> uh, so like you're checking it for traps and such? Yes. Uh, it's a mimic and it's going to eat his face. Uh, make an awareness check? This is why I put four in awareness, because I'm doing so many of them. <laughs> nah. Fuck, why is it so many nines and eights and bullshit? Nine! <laughs> Nine! <laughs> Nine! <laughs> it, it it looks safe to you. Hmm. No lock on Find it. Anything interesting? Right. I carefully open it then. Breaks open. Eee! 
spider. Just a tiny spider looking back up at you, looking kind of offended because you brought it light. <laughs> I what shoot spider. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's hot. All right. Well, uh, you yeah, fire off your shot. There's a, now a little splatter of gray, and you are a crossbow bolt less. Thank you. All right. <laughs> was that, that was necessary. Was that, was that really it was, necessary? It was dangerous and terrifying, and I hated it. Hmm. I'm sure. I'm just going to move the rest of you. <laughs> yeah, house. I was going to say before I enter. So what do you two see in there? Well, Nee just murdered a spider, so... Ooh, and the world was the best of play. What a horrible death. <laughs> 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 All right, Neophil's arachnophobic confirmed. <laughs> or, or arachnocytic, rather. It, I... I... Well, Honestly, it'd be arachnophobic. If it any arachnophobe or crossbow, would have done the same thing. I'm probably going to look at the corpse. It's just, I mean, it's, from it's, what I could... It's just a splatter mark now. It exploded. <laughs> yeah. I can't even tell if it was poisonous or not. The poor little thing. I, I can tell you that Little Wing was also not very fond of spiders. It just never came up in the thick. Yeah. All right. <laughs> hmm. Hey, Rocket, can you get through the door okay? Yeah, it's about the right size rocket to squeeze through. And, like, she'll have to lower her head and keep it low in here, but it's not too bad. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. So you drag your coin inside the counter. Hmm. So. What should we do now? Hmm. Then, Luminia, you need to drag your character inside. There we go. There you go. I was the one dragging it there. Ah. <laughs> so, what else is in here? What's the uh, thing on the top left? The grey thing? Uh, that would be an old fireplace, long out of use. Hmm. Alright, so it's just that and the bed. Can I check under the bed? Hmm. Uh, and these... Nothing hmm. under the bed. Oh, and these other shapes, are these like other doors or windows? Uh, 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 all those brighter squares of brown, uh, those are windows. Boarded mm. up windows, you can't really see much through them. Is the fireplace mm. worth looking into? Uh, that's up to you. I'll mm. roll an awareness check. Usually, right. sometimes right. people leave shit. All right, go ahead, roll fireplace. it. Um, I'm just going to look up maybe this window for... See if there's anything out there. Well, that's just where we came from. 14, oh! yay! Okay! So, uh... Oh! All right. Oops. They kind of you know, look through, and first it's like, it doesn't look like there's anything in here. Go to move away. But then you notice something just out of the corner of your eye. One of the bricks in the fireplace, it doesn't look quite right. It looks kind of loose. Hmm. Now, what would this be? I go and, and push the brick into place. Uh, you push the brick. Nothing happens. It doesn't, I, it, doesn't, it, doesn't, it, doesn't, it doesn't. It doesn't seem like it's a button. Hmm. I wonder over. See, hey, okay. what's going on here? What are you doing? There's this brick that was out of place. I think I thought it might have been like a secret passage, but apparently fate is not kind. To me. Looking at it, to find uh, something. Can I take it out? Uh, um, you put your fingers around it. You pull, and it slides right out of its place. What's there? Uh, a very, very rough and ramshackle scraped open area in which you see a pouch. Whoa. I... Carefully take the pouch and glance inside. Uh, you see a bundle of 60 gill and a vial of an orange liquid. Can any of us identify the liquid? Uh, roll a basic lore check. If you're fair, I could give it a try. I got a bit of a good law check. Eight again. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a try. I mean, Neothil knows what it is. This is pretty simple. Alright. Oh. Um, and what is it? May I have a look at the vial? You take well, one I look at it, and you know it. It's based on the shape of the vial, you know that it is a high ether. Mm. Oh. That's mm. a nice find. High ether restores 50% of the drinker's max MP. I hand it to Alicia. You hold on to this since you are the most in need of magic. Thank you. 
I will use it when the time comes, I suppose. Man, sixty gil. So we split the gil, new. Yeah. Uh, so. 60. Well, actually, who's got the lowest amount of guild here? Between the two Would of us, be... it'd probably be me. Well, do you want to guild? Maybe? Well, we'd all okay get fifteen. We'd... we'd all get fifteen each. If we hmm. equal split. I mean, oh. we two found it, so why don't we just split it between us? Hmm. I suppose. You right with that rocket? Yeah, I'm fine with it. Thirty each, then. Hmm. Huh. I knew think people leave shit in the fireplace all the time. The question so, is, the... where's our cultist and where's our captain, or not captain, our leader of that royal guard squad? That's what I was gonna ask. I mean, it makes no sense. I mean, Can I just why would the check under the rug? Then, unless no. rocket. Under the rug. Okay. Rocket, if, you, you... if you mind moving off the rocket for a moment. Moving off the rug. Rocket. Rocket, rocket, get off of Elon Musk's thing. <laughs> I mean, I was going to say, could you please move off the old rug, please? Okay. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Give us a hand with this. <laughs> yeah. Peel back the rug, and as it's getting to about that point, you hear a. Whoa! I need all of you to roll finesse or force, whichever's higher. Traps. Got that. All right. So. Oh no! Which oh, is higher? Please don't. Well, name. mine's just both. I got three, three, both. So. So that's. Doesn't matter. Let's have a look. That's a four. Oh no. Why are we still all getting like nines and nines and nines and? F I do not trust this dice. I swear, <laughs> it, I swear I these 12. dice are rigged because they've got constant eights and nines. <laughs> I got twelve. All right, uh, Alistair. And this bant to wall. Four plus three. Well, they're both plus three, so all right. Either it way. Really <laughs> yep. Come on! Yes! All right. So, so, <laughs> so you hear the, and you're both able to jump back just in time to avoid it as something pops and the air starts being filled with this purple gas cloud that hovers over the rug. Oh joy! Get I'll, it back. I'll just go ahead and uh, I had an easy button for. Okay. Just do like a purple circle or something. And the thing is, I want it to like be translucent or something. Uh, oh, I'll yeah. just draw. I'll just you drop can't... in a picture of Uranus as like as like, <laughs> as like where it came from, and I'll give it. Oh uh, my god, that was a planet under the rug. Under the rug. It's a whole new world. That's uh, not known. And not uh, any planet, Uranus. All right, so god. poison cloud right there. I found the location of Uranus. <laughs> so, uh, so, traps. That shows we're on the right track. So, you the... know, I wanted to meet Cloud. I didn't expect to meet him like this. This is exactly what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Cloud's growing a bit. Uh, knee, you might want to back up. <laughs> yeah, you're right Too... close to it. Can, is, can we see anything else under the rug where it's coming from? Uh, right next to where the gas releases, you see the edges of a trap door. Hmm. And, no edge. And, and a string connect that used to be connected to the gas release that was tied into the underside of the rug. So, uh, anyone have any bright ideas? How to stop this well, gas flow? Cover up your mouths as best you can. We need to find can a way to clog that. Can me? we see where the gas is coming from? Like can I said, it's, like I said, it's... wings to flap it away. Pardon, Brian. Uh, well, I mean, it, it, it's all coming from that, from from where you see Uranus. That's the gas release thing. It's like a little mechanical contraption. It's kind of spewing out the gas. Mm. Uh, Brock, is it the contraption? Uh, Brock, you could try to flap your wings to clear out some of the. Some Can of I the shoot the contraption? Okay. Uh, sure. Rocket, go ahead and make a force check, and uh, Nee, go ahead and make an attack roll. It's two d six. It was plus. Uh. Come on, don't roll a nine or an eight. Twelve. Yay! Right, so, uh, 
Rocket starts flapping her wings furiously and making the cloud go dull. Neothil preps a bolt, aims, fires off a shot, and the thing stops spewing gas, and the gas that is in the air starts to thin out and fade away. She work! <laughs> Takes a little bit. Kind of well a, done, the both of you. There's a sort of a brighter shade of purple as it thins mm. out. and mm. Light. So Let's hope there's another trap waiting for us like that. Indeed. Because I think we just got lucky. I uh, Can I examine the trap door for any yeah, other things? Alright, sure. Uh, there's I a trap door, by one. the way. Alright. Mm. I'll probably come to assist since I've got good awareness. Roll. Roll. I, did, I did the wrong button. Two. D6 plus 4 for awareness. Ah! <laughs> I didn't see anything. Lucky I'm doing it too. Uh, you look at it and uh, it's like, this looks safe, and you pull it open. Or you try to and you discover it is locked. Hmm. No. Bugger. So, so do we need to do awareness checks? or? Uh, no, it's not trapped. Uh, needs to mm. open it proved that pretty quick. Can anyone pick a lock or otherwise pry this I thing have, open? I don't think I have any lock skill. Just check. Mm, no. Uh, you also don't that would have, be just D6s. Yeah, you also don't lock. have any lock picks or thieves tools to do that with. No, so I, I guess we may have to find a way to break the lock. Can I just check around the room one more time to find a key? Um, make it an awareness check again, yeah. Mm. Actually, no, make it a scavenge check. Hmm. Oh, well, that would be just too deep. As for me, should I clear out the, well, rug a bit more? It's still a good portion of the room. Ten. No. <laughs> yeah, no. All right, here, the, I'll, I'll roll one. There must, there must be a key somewhere. This is over here. Is it over here? Is it over here? Fuck. I was gonna move the wall, the wa, uh, the rug more. Ten, also. God damn it. For searching. For yeah. Yep. Or... Yeah. Yeah. No, nothing. Well, you're moving the rug some more. Mm-hmm. Right. Hang on a minute, Rocket. Do you have a massive metal leg? Can you just tear this fucking thing open? Finally asking the right question. Possibly. <laughs> Possibly. Well, Stand aside for the chocobo. All right. It, let's get ready here. You can do it, Rocket. I guess I have to roll for accuracy first, don't Ac I? Actually, no. It's not moving, and it's an easy target. You have plenty of time to line up to so just roll damage. Watch her just demolish this thing. Hopefully. Yep. Yes! 15. Okay. So, Rocket, you wind up your leg a bit, you rear back, you bring it down onto the thing, you hit it, it's old flimsy wood. It just, it, it basically just dissolves under the impact of your mechanical leg. Just. You see a bunch, you see the wood just splinter apart and fall down a ladder. That descends into a very dark environment, f faintly lit by some torchlight. Well done, Rocket. You broke the bloody door. <laughs> <laughs> Only supposed to blow the bloody doors off. <laughs> he gets it. I'd say you were getting on to me earlier. Okay. So, what can we see in the bottom of this place? Uh, you see what looks like a dirt floor. Well, this mm. screams crazy evil cultist to me. Yeah, pretty much. Could you Can I it? see anything dangerous on the stair, on like the ladder leading down? Because we're in kind of one trap. I look down. Uh, looks safe, yeah. So not even awareness. Okay. Well, follow me. I'll lead the way. <laughs> Mm -hmm. matter. Slowly, emphasis on the slow, start to descend, keeping I an eye out. Collins probably put a bear trap at the bottom of the stairs. All right. Oh, I, I couldn't see anything. Uh, you slowly descend the stairs uh, as you're going. Uh, 
The air turns a touch chillier than usual. When you get to the bottom, your boots crunch into some tightly packed soil. It looks like people have walked back and forth across this particular spot a lot, but the rest of it around you looks relatively fresh, and it's definitely not a natural formation as far as, like, a shape and whatnot. It Very artificial. Looks like it's maybe only a few years old at most. Probably not even that. Looks more like a few months, really. Any doors? Uh, well, how about I give you a visual? Bottom of the map. That's uh. Where you... I see it. Ah, I see it. Everyone kind of descends the map, descends the ladder, and this is the room. And uh, yeah. up here, it has a left turn. I slowly peek behind. I'll peek around the corner. Lead the way, my friend. All right. You uh, peek around at the corner, and uh, you see it looks to be a a palisade, a bunch of uh, wooden logs that have been set up to as a sort of a makeshift wall, and a ramshackle wooden door set up in the middle. It's all very dirty, very grimy, very moldy. And standing in front of it, guard, with a sword drawn, you see a cultist looking at you in surprise, like, What the fuck? He raises his weapon. Can I shoot him in the head? Combat begins, roll an attack roll. (laughs) (laughs) God damn it, Tom. I mean, he saw me, so... And he's right there, like, a few... Mm. Give me a point blank. And if... Just don't miss. Just, don't miss, so I'll have to charge in there and hit him. Or you could do like 10 I mean, plus damage it, according to this stuff. It hits. Yeah, hey. so. Dash. Oh, oh, okay, and Rocket also attacked, it looks like. 2d6 plus. Uh, I see. What was that? It was 8, wasn't it? Uh, do, 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 do. Yes, it was 8. Back to that for a moment. 8. 18. All right, so the guy goes to lift his sword. You quickly shoot him in the collar. He's starting to turn, trying to desperately go for the door, but then suddenly Rocket comes shooting past you. Rocket, I need you to roll damage. All Come right, on, Rocket. So, as, so, as this was, so as this was a critical hit, that's 30. So... The guy with this bolt sticking out of his collarbone, he's turning, he's desperately trying to open the door. Rocket comes shooting in, does a flying leap. Quee! Her mechanical leg drives into the back of his head, drives it into the palisade, where it promptly proceeds to explode from the pressure. Ouch. Ouch. There's an explosion of blood, and his headless corpse slumps to the ground with little scraps and bits of flesh kind of just dribbling down the wall and splattering around his... Well, after early today, that felt oddly satisfying. <laughs> what was the splatter? And oh god! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got him. Black feathers are not white or yellow. <laughs> so, whoo! Terrific Shall job, we... Rocket. Oh goodness! Try this Shall door we... again. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. Check the body and see if he's got a key. Uh, normal scavenge check. Someone else do that. Actually, yes, yeah, Kevin. Um, yeah, I've got. Um, I've got scavenge. Uh, yeah, ro- rocket. You try to scavenge the corpse, and it's like you're just kind of poking it with a big like. I don't know how to do this. Hmm. Well. Hmm. Hey, God damn it! Yeah, I'll just that, beat that, two d sixes. Yeah, that'll do it. Um. Uh, Mm. On his corpse, you do indeed find a rusty old key that looks like it goes to the padlock on the door. It looked to be about the same age. And you find eight gill. Mm. You can take that since you have the lowest money. Sure. Can I have the key then peek, try and stealthily peek through the door just in case there's something else? Uh, sure. Not really. There isn't really any gaps. Uh-huh. The lock is a padlock, so. Right, so we'll make noise. Yeah. Mm. I guess. I go in. Well, uh, are we doing the usual kick down the door and just go in rolling? Oh, oh just oh, you could make a stealth check to try and unlock the door quietly. I can. I'd be. I will do a stealth check. Attention, ready. Plus four. 
Do you have plus four stealth? Okay, yeah, I do yeah. do it. I get All right, swap places view. Yep. Go do anyway. Hmm. No, I've, no, it's plus three, but still decent. Get ready, well, kids. Whatever's beyond that door, we must be prepared. Twelve. Twelve. All right. Well, um. Uh, all right. Mm -hmm. Sure. Uh, moving with slow movements, the, the natural agility and grace that comes with ranger training comes through for you here, and you're able to carefully pick the lock or you know slide the key into it. You open it. It's Despite how rusty it is, it's surprisingly quiet when you find the right angle. You manage to flick it open and slowly push open the door. Uh, beyond uh, the light from uh, the trap door that brought you down here is very minimal. And then very quickly fades away, so you can only just make out the next chamber, which goes left and straight. Hmm. I can't see what's directly ahead in the straight path. There's two paths, though, isn't there? Or is there I know, one? but there's one directly ahead of us. I'm just asking if I can see down that corridor if it's too dark. Uh, move a bit closer, and yeah, indeed, you can see it. It's all kind of hazy, but you can see what looks to be a campfire up ahead. Hmm. There's a campfire up ahead. Campfire means probable cultists. Great. But there's also a second passageway. Hmm. hmm. Probably should look. Shouldn't one of us at least look down it to make sure we don't get flanked? It is. Be a it is too down dark. There. It yeah. The le uh, for the left path, it's too dark and there isn't any light further down. You can't see shit. Damn. So we are, we either go the way of light with pro cultists or into the darkness and the unknown. I see. We could we could split up and I can use a wisp to give us. Uh, a I was thinking let's not that. split up because that never That's goes well. That's a bad idea. Ever. I mean. <laughs> Yeah, there's two paths, but I think we should stick together. <laughs> like, you know, let's not do the rules of horror movies where people split up and get mm. picked off. Let's not do a stupid. Mm. Let's not do a stupid. Mm. All right, let's keep going. How about this? We go towards the light one, and then we may go back to the dark one. Wait, Depending didn't one of you say you had a light spell? I do, I was gonna... but again, it's possible that it just may give away our position. If it's that nervous. is true, because we do not know what's in the darkness. Why not just steal one of the sticks from the campfire and use it as a torch? Obviously, you have yes. to go to the campfire first. That's what we were deciding. Yeah. I suppose we are, are we? Mm hmm. It might be our best option for now. All right. I don't know. Uh, are you making any effort to be quiet by chance? Yes. Definitely. All right, then everyone roll stealth checks. Oh, God. Mm. Is it going to be a repeat of the tavern? Oh, God. Mm. Okay, everyone, try to be as quiet as possible. That means you especially, we, Rocket. We say that when we've got Rocket. Is it nine? Mm. Eleven. Eleven. Right, Rocket seems to have learned her lesson, all things considered, and she's moving fairly quietly. Like, she's still making the most noise out of a lot of you. Her legs kind of going... But it's not too, Thanks, but, it, but but it's quiet compared to what it was last time. We were just, you know, she she's moving quietly and slowly. Mm. Oh boy, that's it. Walk it nice and easy. All right. Well, uh, however, as you're getting a bit closer and uh, you're able to make out some more of what there is amidst all this light, uh, only someone suddenly steps in front of the fire, looking down the tunnel towards where you oh, all are. Oh shoot! And like, oh god, Jed. Is that you? And I think that is where we're going to call it. <laughs> yeah. And we have eight minutes to spare the talk. Oh my god, it's edging the cliffhanger. I mean, the da 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 Yeah, the, the, guy, the guy rolled high enough to detect uh, like a lot of your walking. You know, he rolled an 11 for his awareness. So. Like, Beginning yeah. next time, one of us is going to have to try and between Jed. If it fails, it's just go back to the Adol tactic of shoot him in the face. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh. Yeah, Jed had an unfortunate accident. <laughs> All right. And it's an old, it's an old tactic, but it checks out. Kick to the face. All right. Well, uh, with all that said and done, uh, that will do it for today's session of Final Fantasy D6 Chronicles of Eno. Uh, we'll pick this up hopefully next week. Uh, we'll talk, chat amongst ourselves about whether or not that schedule is uh, 
good and advisable. So, uh, yeah. Thank you all very much for tuning in and listening. However many of you there are, I have no idea. The first episode hasn't even gone up on YouTube by the time we've recorded this, but we'll see. <coughs> Tom. Yeah, Tom. <laughs> He's waiting to be somewhere where he has better net. But, uh, yeah, so all that said, again, thanks for tuning in, everyone. We'll see you next time. Keep adventuring, people. Bye. ta -ra. Bye, everybody. Adios. Rock and it's stupid. Rocket is loud. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>